In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a animated GIF image to your website X5 software program. Now, this may be a totally isolated incident, but I cannot upload a um, animated GIF image to the software program. When I do do it, or it, it just remains a static image and it does not animate. I've also read the um, forum, and it seems to be quite a common problem. Perhaps it's something to do with people's PCs, or perhaps the way they save the file. But I, I don't know. But there is a simple solution around this if you are, are having this problem. So for this, you're going to need uh, an FTP program such as FileZilla to upload the image to your web hosting account. Uh, you're also going to need something like Notepad just to make note of the um, URL which you need to paste into the program. Other than that, it's quite simple. So if I could just give you a demonstration, I have this banner here which I made. And it's basically an animated GIF which rotates every five seconds. I'll just show you a demonstration now as the image, um, it should rotate in a minute. So you can see that that image um, rotates every five seconds or so. But when I do upload that image, it doesn't uh, rotate so or it doesn't animate. So here's quite a simple solution. So what we need, once you have files that are installed on your PC, if, if you haven't got this program, I'll put the link in the description. It's, a, it's completely free to download and so on. So if you just need to enter your host details once, just enter them on the top toolbar, your username and your password and so on. So I've just logged into mine. So basically, in most cases, your all your website files will be uploaded to the uh, public HTML folder. So we can see it here on the um, right hand side. So basically, once you locate your public HTML folder, I like to create another fo a separate folder or a separate directory. So if you right click on that and then click create directory, you can call it anything you like. In my case, I'm just going to call it pick. So click OK. That should then create a, uh, a pick directory. So we should see it here somewhere. Here it is. So now basically what I need to do is to upload that animated GIF to that folder. So on the left hand side, we, we can see here is all the folders on my PC. So select the picture folder, which you can see here. Then it will give you a list of all the pictures, all your separate folders and so on. In my case, my picture is here. So all I need to do is hold in the left key and drag it to that pick folder. So that's now uploaded in a matter of seconds. So if I just click on that, we can now see it's here. So now basically we need to get the URL of the location of that picture. So right click and then copy the URL. In this case, you can either use Notepad or WordPad just to paste the URL. So I'm using Notepad. So there's the URL. So we're not interested in all of this. All we basically want is the slash pick and the rest of the URL. So copy that. Then open up your web browser and go to your website and then just add the additional URL to the end of that. Once that's done, press enter. We can now see that the image has been successfully uploaded to my web host and it's working correctly. So we can now copy all of the URL. Then we go to the main program. So in this case, I'm on the template option, template contents, and I'm, I want to add this banner to the actual header. So as usual, we just select the image option, drag the image box. Now, if you don't know the size of your image, just try to uh, find that out before you begin. So in my case, mine's um, 11,070 by 200. So we can see the little numbers here which indicate the size, so I'm just going to draw it to the same size. Slightly too big. And make it 200. You don't have to make it the exact size, but the, your image will look um, a bit funny if it doesn't. So. Once it's the right size and the right location, we can now double click on the box. And rather than upload the, the um, picture from your computer, we want to select internet file. So then we just delete that part and then paste our URL of the location of the image. So once that's done, we now want to um, <coughs> go down to the size option down here, select that. What we want to do is untick the keep ratio. So again, we want to enter the exact size of the image. So in my case is 11,070. 
oh sorry 1170 by 200 so that should be it so put a tick there and then we just want to preview it to see if it works and there it is and hopefully now it should animate and there it goes so if you're having problems uploading a animated GIF image to this um, website program website x5 there's a simple solution around the problem so hopefully you followed that guide I know it's a little bit complicated but that's how you do it thanks for watching